All Fatina Mohandas says she can do to keep her family warm is to make them cups of tea. She boils water on a gas stove she was given by a local charity shortly after fleeing the fighting in Syria's Aleppo province five years ago. The family has lived in this disused building since then. Fatina says living conditions get worse each year. Winter is very harsh this year. It's freezing. My adult children are jobless, so it's hard for us to buy oil for the heaters. So we use one small heater at night and gather around it. Only God knows how tough the conditions we live in are. No one is providing us with any help. It's been like this for years. We're just living day by day. To give a sense of what living conditions here are like, this is essentially a building site. Uh, this was to be a luxury home. It is now home to six Syrian refugee families. Around 60 people live here and they all have these individual rooms where the families stay in together. There's no running water, no electricity, and in these bitterly cold winter days, the conditions here are very harsh. It's a continuous struggle for Syrian refugees in Lebanon. Of the one and a half million registered here, around two thirds live in poverty, but increasing numbers live in what the UN defines as extreme poverty. During the cold winter months, many are at risk from disease. These doctors are from a Lebanese charity. They hand out medicines to those who need it, but say they are desperate for more. All we can provide is primary aid, especially in hard times like these, with heavy rains and muddy grounds. It all leads to the spread of diseases like diarrhea, asthma and chronic coughs. We're helping as much as we can, but it's still not enough, and there are still places where we really can't reach. Places like where the Mohandas family lives. Despite the poor conditions, Fatina fears one day they'll be told to leave and have nowhere else to go. Imtiaz Taib, Al Jazeera in Lebanon's eastern Bekaa Valley.